up everyone? Welcome into the Natal YouTube channel. My name is Dave Major and I'm an online drum teacher here on YouTube as well as my own website. I'm a clinician, I give master classes and most importantly I'm a proud Natal drums artist. Today I'm going to show you a little tip that will spice up your grooves, give you some new ideas from existing patterns that you know. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a pattern that we would usually play as a fill. Now this pattern is really really common. It's six notes long today and that means it's going to be in triplets. The pattern itself is Right, left, right, left, left, kick. Now as a fill, that sounds like this. So you'd have to play that four times as a fill, but it sounds pretty cool on its own. What we are gonna do is we're gonna take the right hand, we're gonna put it up in the hi-hat, we're gonna take the left hand, and we're gonna put it on the snare drum. So it's basically in like what I call groove position. Let's try that again, but now in groove position. Sounds like this. But we're missing something. That doesn't sound like a groove to me. Firstly, what we're missing is we're missing a bass drum on the one and the three, and we're missing a backbeat or a strong snare drum on two and four. So the trick today is we are going to add them in no matter what else is happening. And we're going to create a slightly varied, new, challenging pattern that still sounds like a groove and a cool chops thing, so it's a total win-win in my books. So we're gonna add the bass drum on the one, so that'll be with the first right hand, so it sounds like this. And then we're gonna add a left hand underneath that right hand on beat two. That means you're then gonna do what's called a control stroke, accented left into a soft left straight away. So the beat two sounds like this. And then we repeat that for three, so we've then got a double bass drum. And now what I like to do is I like to spice it up a little bit by taking one of those bass drums and playing it as a left foot, right at the end of the, right before the backbeat basically. So that is gonna sound like this. A little bit faster starts to start to really cook. It's basically a halftime shuffle, so you could use it as a little halftime shuffle groove fill, like this. So try it out, try any pattern you can think of, any sticking or rudiment that you just play all the time, but play it in a groove position Add the backbeat on the left hand underneath, make a kick drum pattern, and you have a cool groove that satisfies both the musical side of us and the drumming side of us. Thanks for checking out this video, check out the child drums in your local drum shop, and I will catch you very soon. Take care.